Hello and welcome to my channel, The Grape Jelly Library. My name is Flossie and I always look forward to your visit. If you are a subscriber to my channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so now by hitting that subscribe button, making sure your bell notifications are turned on so you will be notified of future bookish content and also give this video a thumbs up. When I woke up this morning, it was like this epiphany. I had a moment of reckoning. I must have been subconsciously thinking about this in my sleep because when I woke up, there it was, crystal clear. Um, I there it was. It was just staring me right in the face. The, the, the name that I should call this upcoming series and what I should do. So let me fill you in on a little bit about the workings of my mind whilst I sleep. Whilst I'm in that slumber, I guess my brain is still going to 40. All right, so when I woke up this morning, the concept of a series called The Sunday Connection hit me. And within that theme, I thought that I would bring you a new book, your possible next read, and a new subscriber. So I would connect you with a book and a book channel. And that's where the the name the sunday connection just came came to me it came into um my mind's eye and i thought yeah let me explore that so if you i felt like this i felt like sunday is theoretically the calmest day of the week the day someone is most likely to get a book from the shelf and sit down in a comfy chair and read maybe after the company has gone maybe after the dinner dishes um maybe after you've come back from your excursion your outing and now you're settling in for the night um sunday would probably be the best day for that so every sunday morning i am going to bring you a new booktube channel to subscribe to and a new book that you might want to venture into so it sounds like a win-win to me. I don't know about you guys. I hope uh, you guys will enjoy this little series. And then also I thought I would give little, I would do like little chapters in this series. Like maybe, um, maybe um, baking and a book. Like for instance, I, um, I have a a friend who loves to bake and I myself love to bake back in the day I that was my thing to do every you know every weekend I was whipping something up so um, I think that every now and again I'm going to bring you um, a, a, a chapter within the Sunday connection where maybe we're gonna whip up some delicious pumpkin cookies and then um, pair it with a book it sounds um, kind of sounds kind of exciting to me I don't know about you but I get excited about stuff like that it's the simple things in life right that um yeah that get me excited so I don't know we'll see how that goes um, so but for now let's concentrate on the new booktube channel that I would like you to go check out um, it's called in between the lines and Noah is your host he has 63 subscribers and he is working hard to get your attention so head on over to Noah's channel in between the lines give him a subscribe and I hope you enjoy him as much as I do so there's that so let's get on with the book now. Okay, so I am so excited. The book that I am working on in the Audible version is Jeanette McCurdy, um, her autobiography called 
I'm glad my mom died. It is highly, highly sought after right now. All right, so anyways, this book, you can tell by the title. It is an attention getter, right? And like what better way to make a sale than controversy? The, the name is horrible, right? It's horrible, but it's intriguing. And it, it, it keeps us, um, cap it captivates us. It makes us, you know, um, inquire why would she name her book that? And I've read that she doesn't regret naming her book that. She stands by that 100%. She has no remorse. And yeah, so there's something to be said about somebody who is firm in their decisions. All right, so I cannot obtain a hard copy of this anywhere. So let me head on over to Audible since I do have a subscription and I do have available credits. Let me download this and just see. I didn't even click sample. I just, I just hit, you know, purchase because if you cannot get it anywhere, then that is telling me, don't even waste your time, girlfriend. Just go in for the dive. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What, what a book. It is, it is shocking. Now, I don't know if any of you out there are familiar with who she is. She is a character on I. Carly. I am well aware of who she is. I am well aware of iCarly. I am well aware of the characters on iCarly. I am not well aware of the goings on behind the scenes. Um, I am not aware of her family life, of her family's financial situation. I'm not aware of her background. So she has a story to tell. And anybody who knows me knows I love the story of a person's life. So you have me. Um, you have my full attention. Wow, what a book. Some of this stuff is like shocking, really, really shocking, especially, especially, especially if you are a parent, especially if you are a parent, it's, it's mind boggling how another parent's mind might think in a certain way, because I am thinking if you are a mom and you are giving your 14 year old daughter a shower because you don't feel like she can wash and free rinse her hair properly. And sometimes when you're short on time, you are giving your 14 year old daughter a shower at the same time that you're giving your 16 year old son a shower. Hello? Hello, that's all I'm gonna say is hello. So some of this stuff in the book is extremely shocking. And um, I don't know, that's what I'm working on right now. And I, um, I'm there's, I believe 90 some chapters. They're very short. They're like five minutes long. The chapters aren't very long at all. The thing about her storytelling is she's very precise. She's very to the point. She is very well crafted in her words. She can paint the whole picture of a chapter in a five minute time span. And you come away saying, she wasted none of my time. She didn't beat around a bush. She didn't try to get any kind of story to escalate or suspense to build. She was just out there. She was just straightforward. And I, I find it refreshing. I find it a refreshing way to write a book because a lot of times when I'm reading a book, I'm like, come on, come on, get to the point. Well, she is to the point, always to the point. Um, and not in a way that makes you say, oh, tell me more, tell me more. You let No, I feel like very satisfied with her 
um, telling of each chapter. I'm, you know, I just, I, I find that she's very gifted in her um, storytelling abilities. So yeah, um, that's what I am working on right now. Jeanette McCurdy's new novel, I'm Glad My Mom Died. Yeah, um, honestly, I can't get enough of it right now. So um, I, I'm hoping, I know I'll have that sucker read by, to, by tonight. Um, I know it's Sunday night. I will definitely have that sucker under my belt and checked off of my list for the year. One more book under Flossie's belt. Um, one book closer to her goal. So if you don't know what you should be reading and you want to read a book that's interesting and shocking and informative and just um, mind boggling and um, satisfying, it's, it's all the things. It's everything and more. I'm just thoroughly enjoying it. That's my book recommendation for today. So maybe if you can get your hands on that book, you will read that too. And if you are reading it or you plan on reading it, comment below. Let me know. Um, if you have finished it already, comment below. Let me know what the heck did you think about this book? What the heck did you think about it? Shocking just shocking and um yeah so there's that too all right guys so i'm gonna wrap it up there um with that said know that i love you be well be good and be reading